As May 2021 approaches the end, this can only mean one thing, and that is the used PC parts hunt of the month, where this month, it's gonna be a focus on just the best deals, period. It doesn't matter if it's a graphics card, doesn't matter if it's a motherboard, or even a beautiful i3, as long as it's the right price, I'm gonna be putting in an offer. So with that said, let's see what we can find on good old Gamtree and Facebook Marketplace. Today's video is brought to you by the ASRock Z590 Taichi with a dedicated four centimeter MOS fan for low temperatures on your VRM, coupled with a dedicated GPU holder and PCIe 4.0 for your M.2 drive, this thing has it all. Links in description below. So going through good old Gamtree straight up, we've got three potential deals where I'm actually waiting for all three of these people to message us back. But first of all is a RTX 2080 Ti. This is the Aorus edition. And they apparently they've got a few screws missing on the back, but they claim it works perfectly. And I think maybe they've tried to change the thermal paste once before and they lost the little screws. But either way, thousand Aussie dollars. And I'll put the US pricing up here on the screen because if I can get a GPU like this, I can couple it with that recent i9 laptop CPU and would have a really strong and powerful high-end gaming PC. But then next up, we've got a 980 Ti Strix, and I've offered them 280 cash pickup, waiting on them to get back to us on that one. And then next up is an i7 desktop computer. They were asking, apparently they've dropped it down to 320 from 350, and I just put an offer of 250. You never know. So you can get a whole monitor, keyboard, mouse, i7 PC, 6700, and some RAM, SSD, hard drive. It'd be a nice little combo to then couple with say an RX 570 and make a solid gaming PC. Then moving over to Facebook Marketplace, we then got yet another 2080 Ti. They're asking $1,100. I put in an offer of a thousand flat. So waiting on them to get back to us. And then we've got a Ryzen 7 2700X. And I put in an offer of 200 Aussie for that. Then there's also a 32 gigabyte kit of DDR4 Corsair memory. They're asking 150. I'm just trying to shave off a quick tenner. Then onto a combo with a Z370 Tough Gaming and an i7-8700. We'll put an offer of 280 on that. Then there's an A320 motherboard. I know I've already got a couple of these, but if I can pick this up and I put in an offer of 20 bucks, see if they take it. Hopefully no one else wants it. An A320 for this price is a bargain in my opinion. And then the last two deals, I think you guys will definitely like one of these. And that is an FX6300, 16 gig of RAM, Cooler Master Cooler, and a motherboard. And they want $90, but they say it's completely untested. So I'm thinking I'll go with a gamble. I offered them $50 cash pickup, waiting for them to get back to us on that one. Then the last deal is 16 gigabytes of DDR4. They want 75. I've come in at 50 bucks. Though the main thing with graphics cards, I feel like they're still overpriced and hopefully that is shadowing all the other stuff that people still want to clear out and sell. So there's our initial deal outlay. We're also going to go catch up with Les right now, but I've also got to do something else while I'm up that way anyhow. So I'm making a bit of synergy work as always. But the main thing is this month, I'm noticing that a lot of these other parts besides graphics cards, I think people just want to move them. And since no one's really looking to build a PC or buy a PC because the graphics cards are too expensive, that now leaves these other parts coming in at even better prices than I'm used to paying. So I'm gonna come and swoop that stuff up, especially since I got that large graphics card deal recently. If you haven't seen that video, I'll put the link up here. But let's finally go hit the road and see what deals we can get crack a lacking. And we're cutting now straight to the next morning. And it is, well, last night was bust city in that we picked up the deals from Les. So we'll go over what we got in terms of the stuff. So we picked up uh, four OEM systems, five monitors and uh, two power supplies. And we got that for 525 Aussie off Les. And then we picked up over here on a separate deal 
we picked up a GTX 760, but we picked this one up on the road. So I saw this up for 50 bucks. I messaged the guy, I said, I'll come pick it up now. And we got that while we're out. But in terms of every deal that I got beforehand, every deal that I put a message on before we uh, left to get this stuff, none of the guys, like literally no one messaged me back. Or I think one person messaged me back and they wanted close to asking. I think that was on the i7 desktop from Gumtree. So it's a, I'm gonna call this episode this month, it's gonna be a stalemate because there's a lot of stuff and I'm starting to see this even from this morning, I've just woken up and I've checked uh, new listings and I've noticed that mining profitability is starting to drop a bit and I'm starting to see a lot more cards come up more than usual. There's RTX 3060s coming up now and there's RTX 3070s coming up. But this is getting to that stage where I think we're at that level where some people are like, well, I'll sell my card now so I can get as much for it. But, you know, I want to beat that rush because if everyone starts selling their cards then the prices will come down. So I think we're at that point right now. Point of inflection. This is the point of inflection. And what's going to go on from here, I'm actually very curious to see. But that is not going to stop us from continuing day two of the deals hunt. But there's also some other good news. So besides Boss City, one guy did get back to us about the FX6300 combo. And he said he'd take $50, but he lives on an island. And I'm thinking to myself, damn, like I'm not gonna catch a ferry across to an island just to get an untested motherboard CPU RAM and, and cooler. So he said he'd post it for 15 bucks and uh, we agreed on that. So we ended up picking up, I guess, one deal out of those pre roll messages, but that can only leave one thing left over, and that is to get back on Gamtree and Facebook Marketplace and find those deals. So starting off with good old Gamtree, it was uneventful. There was a 6700 XT for a thousand, I offered them 900, they came back and said they're firm, but then moving over to Facebook Marketplace, I found two deals, and this is the thing, I found two deals here today, and both people have messaged me back already accepting my offers. So GTX 10, 63 gigabyte, 180 Aussie dollars. They wanted initially 200 and they've accepted that offer. Then there was a whole PC up for sale with no graphics card. And so they want, uh, initially they it looked like they wanted 850 and they've dropped it down to 675. I offered 500, they came back at 600. And I said to myself, well, 3700X, that's not bad at all. It's got a water cooler, the case has got RGB bling gold rated power supply B450 motherboard, 16 gigabytes of RAM. I said, sure, let's do this up because all I have to do then is put in a graphics card and pretty much add SSD and a hard drive and I got myself an easy flip. So that's two deals that we're gonna go pick up. That is good news starting out the day already. But while we're on the road, of course, we're gonna try and find some more banger deals. And here we are now, back on day two, and uh, we ended up getting this deal, so this was today's haul, and the other GTX 1063 gigabyte, I was on the road and I'm messaging the guy, I'm like, yo, can I pick this thing up now, man? Can I pick this thing up now? Just, I got ghosted so fast. So hopefully you can get back to me, post out the GPU, and then we'll have two post-it deals this month, a PC and then some Les pickup specials. But this one right here, this is interesting for one reason, because I think the guy, I mean, he said something about, oh, I took the GPU out and sold it separately. And I'm like, you know, when I went in there, he had all this like crypto stuff set up. So I'm like, you didn't sell the GPU separately. He just took the GPU out and started mining crypto and then wanted to get rid of the PC. But either way, I don't really care because this here for 600 Aussie is really solid. I mean, where are you gonna get a 3700X, eight core, 16 threaded Ryzen, B450, water cooler, and it's even got some cool RGB bling over there, and a 600 watt gold rated power supply, as well as 16 gigabytes of RAM. So I thought this was a solid deal for the money, and all I have to do is find a appropriate GPU, like say for instance, I pick up, if I picked up one of those 2080 Ti's, that would have been perfect. But um, if I pick up something like that, I can then whack that in and I'll have a very solid, uh, easy flip on my hands in terms of a, a nice gaming PC. I do have to clean this up a little bit. There's not much, I mean, it does look like it's been 
sitting here with a little bit of dust. They've obviously, they've even left the peel on there, which is awesome when you're picking up anything. It means it just hasn't really been used. So I was pretty happy with that for 600 Aussie, but do let us know in the comments whether you guys think this is a good deal. I mean, when I look for deals, I just trust my gut. And my gut was, I was looking over this, I'm like, I offered a 500 initially and he went to 600. So he wanted to get rid of it. He wanted to sell it. And I'm thinking to myself, 600, it's a solid buy. It's not obviously the best deal you can get, but adding all the parts up in my head, if I was to go out and build something like this, I'd be paying around $900 off the top of my head. So my gut was like, yeah, looks like a solid deal. Let's go cop it. And he showed me it all up and running and working. So that was a bonus as well. And telling up this month's deals so far, we got the initial 525, where we picked up four PCs, five monitors, two power supplies. Then we've got that GTX 760, that was $50. And then we have today's pickup, which was the $600 Cyber Power PC minus the GPU. And then there was also that $65 posted FX63 combo deal, which we're still gonna wait on. If it's good, I'll let you guys know, and you'll probably see it on a budget build here on the channel. But we've also got that GTX 1060. I'm not banking on that. So I'm not gonna add that in the tally so far, but I'll put the Aussie dollars and also the US dollar amounts up on the screen here for you guys. So you can check out all the deals. Do let us know in the comment section below what was your favorite deal of this month and why. So I love reading those thoughts and opinions, but let's look at something that I've been noticing this month while I was doing the parts hunt. It's actually two different trends I was noticing. The first one is very weird to the point where I've only seen this once before and it didn't last too long. And that was when I was uh, deals hunting in 2018, right when crypto was going bust. There was all of a sudden that you could see the GPU starting to come on the market. Now it's not indicative of that yet because mining's still profitable, but I've noticed in the last few days, there's these RTX 3060s coming up and there's a lot more of them coming up and they want around that thousand dollar price tag when you could get these when they initially came out for around $800. So the fact that they want $200 more, but then they're cutting their price down like $50 or $100 means they want to sell them. There's some sort of desperation there. And actually I've seen other people discounting on just a lot of other PC parts as well. They're discounting their ads. And this is the most frequent discounting rate I've seen on ads when I search for things that I've ever seen when I've been searching on Marketplace. So what this means is that people wanna sell the stuff but they want more than the market is wanting to give them. And so we're seeing that difference now. The, basically, if you were to trade some sort of items, you would have a bid and an ask spread. So what happens there is that the bidders aren't willing to pay the asker's price. And so naturally, if they want to sell, which they probably will want to, they have to come down to the bidder's price. But basically what this means in a nutshell is that I think prices will come down, not just on graphics cards, but on other stuff as well. We could be seeing a massive glut in the market in terms of people are maybe just switching off tech right now. They're not really interested in building a PC because they go to check the prices of PC parts and they're like, well, damn, that's way too high. I might just go buy a TV or something and uh, watch uh, movies instead or watch people streaming. So regardless, the market always has its natural ways of sorting itself out. But the second thing I wanted to talk about now, which relates back to that first part, is that if prices are coming down, you will be able to get a really good bargain if the time is right. Say for instance, I noticed that someone in the title, they said, I need to sell this urgently. Well, the more time goes on and the more they can't sell that because they completely ignored me uh, at $200. But the more time goes on and the more urgent they get, then the more that price will come down. So basically in this environment, if you are quick and there are sellers that need to sell something off quickly, then just like always, you'll be able to get an absolute bargain. But I've been noticing since these people are hungry to sell their stuff and the discount rates are more than ever, that means that if you're patient, but you're also very quick on the pulse, you'll be able to land yourself some really good deals in the next few months. That's what I feel is coming up. So if you have been patient, then I do feel that patience may soon be rewarded as I have been hearing a lot behind the scenes of what is going on in the crypto market. I know a lot of guys are actually just completely getting out of crypto. Anyhow guys, that's it for this month's parts hunt of the month. It is now May 2021 and man, time is flying by, especially when we got this question of the day here, which comes from Ricky V and they ask, what's next? And this is a really funny question because it might surprise you guys with the answer. And that is, 
I actually don't even know what the next video I'm making is going to be here on the channel. I sort of just uh, make it as it comes because I feel like that's the most exciting thing. I feel like people seem to think that like in this world, chaos is a bad thing. But chaos, I, I think it's a beautiful thing in that if you don't know what's going to happen, then in ways it can be kind of exciting. I mean, imagine if your life was just jotted out on a plan and you knew everything that was gonna to happen tomorrow, the day after, the next week, the next month, and the next 10 years. In ways, I just feel like that whole element would just bring a sense of just real boredom to your life. And so I think chaos in one way can be very exciting. That's what I've done my whole life is just live day by day and sort of the most I'll have planned out here on the channel will just be in the next week in terms of, okay, we've got maybe some products been sent in or something, or I've got these new, these used parts here that I picked up and I will make content based around that that I think people will enjoy. So in terms of what's next uh, though, to answer the question directly, I'm thinking right now, it'll probably be a video on um, fixing up some really weird problems as I've had a PC that's come back four times now in the past three months. And when the PC comes back four times and you've literally changed the whole system, then you know it's not anything on your end, but something on the user's end. And it's, this, one's, this one will be a really good video on that. I'll be touching on a few basic problems as well, things that can really uh, make you pull your hair out, but they can be really easy to fix. Hope you guys will be looking forward to that one. And with that aside, I'll catch you in another tech video very soon. If you've stayed this far and you're enjoying that tech yes content, be sure to hit that sub button, ring that bell. And I'll see you next time. Peace out for now. Bye.